Hey guys, Destin One here once again with another episode of Persona 4 Golden. We're just really starting to get up there now, aren't we, at 14? Uh, before we go on and do other things, I want to run out to the shrine, because I believe, so I've been told, that, uh, which way is it, can I go to the shopping district? Uh, I, I believe I've been told that if you, uh, that there is a, something I can do now with the with the weird fox social link thing. So let's check that out. A fox around here. Yeah, let's let's do this. I don't know what's the deal with this fox, but, you know, if it wants me to do quests, I'll do quests. I think I'll go back to the school now and see if uh, there is any socializing I can do. Gotta get that socializing done so we can get all of those social links done by the end of the year. I presume this game runs for a, for a year. I know, I believe the first game did. And I think they implied it, that it would at the beginning of the game. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a year long. Journey. Thankfully, in only in game, not in real life, because if it's going to take me a year to complete a single game, that would be quite the commitment. Actually, hang on. Did I miss something? I did. Huh. Okay. Oh gosh, it's one of those notes. Well, that was a thing. Very classic trope. You know, the whole, um... Is this her up here? No, a different one. Probably just same skin. Oh, yeah. Now... Uh, I'm not seeing anybody around here to hang out with. So... Let's see if we can... Check out other places. I don't think I saw anyone on the way here to hang out with. Let's try, let's try Juness. Oh hey, Adachi. Oh. Slacking off again? Dojima mm. sent me! This sucks. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'll hang out with you too. Something like that, and I haven't got any other social links I can do right now. It's not so bad. Oh yeah? <sighs> wow, that is, that is kind of boring. I mean, you, being a detective and you, your first case is find a cat 
Then again, they probably wouldn't have you do anything really serious on your first case anyway. You know, crawling before you can walk. I see. Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Whoa. What's this? Which social link is this? The Jester Arkham, huh? Well... That's a thing. I'm not sure what to make of Adachi. Well, you know... He's a strange one. Hiding from someone? See ya. I wonder what's up with that woman. Uh, I'll tell him. Maybe. If I remember to. Evening. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Oh no! The horror! Our special report took a turn for the violent when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera crew. Oh gosh, that's actually kind of bad. The hell are you punks doing here? The heck? I blurred his face out. Voice. What about it? This ain't a show! Get bent! Still up to the same old tricks. You know this guy? Do you know yeah, him, Dad? Yeah, that's exactly what I was... Uh, well, I know him through work. Uh, His name's Kanji Tatsumi. He's quite a handful. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school. Oh, so he's the one the rumors were talking about. But I thought he'd got into a high school and started attending class. I mean, don't all students do that? <sighs> Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely obvious who it is. The guy's family runs a historic textile oh, shop. Oh, really? I think what happened was he crushed the local bikers all by himself because the noise kept his mother up at night. Seems a bit extreme, but okay. It's a nice gesture, but he's way too violent. Yeah, exactly. At this rate, his mother will have to apologize again. Yeah, probably. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. I'll make oh, sure really? to hang the laundry inside the house. Okay. Aren't you... So thoughtful, Nanako. Wise beyond your years. Whoa! It started raining. I guess the weather report was right. That it was. That means the show's probably going to be on tonight. Probably. I hope we don't see anyone. Yeah, me too. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Hopefully. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. What time do I check Got it? 2 a.m.? It's called the Midnight Channel because it happens at 2 a.m., right? Thank you, Nanako. I'm not sure what to do now, to be honest. <laughs> we did the start studying for the... Oh, right, yes, that's the Midnight Channel. Duh. I forgot, you can't... You can't do anything on the nights of the Midnight Channel except watch the Midnight Channel. It takes up your time slot automatically. Which, you know, you think if, you think that would be after evening period, because, I mean, midnight's pretty late in the evening. Oh, snap. Somebody appeared. I wonder who it is. Yeah, exactly, game. Who is it? Are you going to tell me who it is? Um. Yeah, let's call Yosuke. Maybe he's got some. Oh, it's you. I was just about to call your cell. We had the same thought. So what do you think? That was a guy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I 
wish I could tell what he looked like. Ah, oh, no clue, man. But I, I think I've seen him somewhere before. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. Yeah, that would probably be best. Did you stay up just to watch the Midnight Channel? <clears throat> we will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Oh gosh. Dude, take a breath. <laughs> oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? It's a bit lacking for a special headquarters. Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. I mean, can't we get something a little bit fancy? Special headquarters. Hmm. Yeah. That I mean, this is a just nice a table at June S. Anyways, as for what was on last night. Did you watch last night? I saw it too! I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't Definitely. it? Definitely. Yeah. So that's how I looked on TV. When it happened to you, yes. Except you were much more emotive hmm. though. Wait a moment. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? That's a good point. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. Yeah. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? Yes. Yeah. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. Hmm. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Yeah, that does sound plausible. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. No. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? Possibly. If so, then... We could... He... he he's... He's already kidnapped! Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. Yeah. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? That seems plausible. Yeah. And if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. Yeah, that would be really good. <sighs> but to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel star is. I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. <clears throat> well... That means if my deductions are correct, though the image was hard to make out and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. Yes. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what oh, happens. Oh, look at you, Chia, getting all serious all of a sudden. Compared to before when you said, you take a breath. Exactly what we just <laughs> said. Shut up! <laughs> You're so uh, funny, Chica. <laughs> oh no! My, my funny bone! <laughs> um. Not again. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You know, does anybody actually have, like, uncontrollable laughing fits like this? This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, yeah, too. Yeah, I got that feeling, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think about it more tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Anytime you want to stop, Yukiko. <gasps> when are you going to stop that, you crazy hyena? Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. <laughs> You're making it worse, Chie. Yukiko's going to be laughing all the way to the evening. Welcome back. Thanks, Dojima. What are you up to? Hmm? What's a bad influence on Nanako? <laughs> oh. Oh no, no. Nanako, you do not want... You do not want to get involved with those, okay? Dojima is right, that's a bad influence. 
time to watch some TV. We both know it will, game. Oh, there he is. It's still kind of hazy. Has he not been caught yet? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. <sighs> it might be Kanji Tatsun. Yeah, I think so too. I knew I saw him somewhere. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. Yeah. He's one scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. Oh no. All right. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you think about Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? <laughs> don't you think? Well, I kind of understand. They're great girls, but you saw their ugly sides right off, and I guess your first impression is the one that sticks. Yeah. Hey, but don't worry. Also, this I, is just between you and me. Also, I don't want to create any any issues between you and me, so... Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, so... The one who was on last night! It's that guy, yes. right? Yes. Yes, Chie. Kanji Tatsumi, huh? He definitely didn't look like the social No, type. he did not. Now there is an understatement. Isn't he really scary? Did you see the new special the other day? Yes, I did. Yeah, I saw it. You mean the special on biker gangs? I watched it too. Pretty sure everybody in this town watched it. I mean, there's not he a lot going like on. wasn't like that when he was younger, though. Oh? You know him, Yukiko? Uh-huh. But we haven't talked to each other in a long time. Interesting. His family runs a textile shop, and we've been a customer of theirs for many years. So maybe there is a connection. So I speak with Kanji-kun's mother from time to time. Why don't we go there now? We might be able to talk to him in person. That's a good idea. Sounds good. At the very least, we can ask if anything strange has come up lately. Yeah, that would probably be wise. I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley, but I'm pretty sure he won't fly off the handle at his family's store. Probably not. All right, then let's get going. If things get rough, we're counting on you guys. But of course. Oh, who's this? Hello. Ah, Yuki-chan. It's so nice to see you. Well then, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry that I couldn't help more. You must be important. You, you've you got a, a unique character model. It's all right. You've given me plenty to think about. Thank you. Interesting that we haven't run crossed paths with them. What's up with him? Before weirdo. Uh huh. Never seen him before. Yuki-chan, you're as lovely as always. Flattery your will get you everywhere. Your features are starting to remind me of your mother when she was young. How can I help you today? Are you out shopping with your friends? Oh, Not quite. Uh, well, actually. Hmm. Hey, this scarf. I've seen this somewhere before. Oh, really? Which one? Huh? Oh, you're right. Where was that? Hmm. Oh, it was that place inside the TV! That's right. That room with those faceless posters. Oh. Then it's that announcer's. Are you acquaintances of Miss Yamino? Something like uh, that. Well... Kinda. Um, 
did Miss Yamano happen to have a scarf like this? Yes. It was a special order she placed. Interesting. She actually ordered a pair, but in the end, she said she only wanted the women's scarf. Interesting. It left us with no choice but to sell this one separately. I see. Oh man, there is a connection to the first case. What are we going to do? How should I know? Doorbell. Hello. Delivery here for the Tatsumis. Man, delivery men can have the worst timing sometimes. Oh, I'll be right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse me. No worries. Oh, it's okay. We should get going. Yeah, probably. I'll come again, ma'am. Is that so? Well, then please say hello but to your mother for me. But we didn't accomplish our main goal. Where are we going to talk to Kanji? It really is connected to the first case after all. But it's just a scarf. Would the killer target someone just because of that? Who knows? Damn it, what's going on? Come on, let's talk outside. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil. Quick, hide! You're not fooling anyone, you know. The... Shh, I can't hear what they're saying. T Tomorrow's fine with me. Mm -hmm. Huh? S school. Of course I'm going to school. Then I'll meet you at the gates after school tomorrow. Huh. Did he, did he say he was interested? He's a guy. And I'm a guy, but he's interested in me? Oh, gosh. Huh? What the hell are you pricks looking at? Don't mind us. You gonna chase us down the street? <gasps> that scared the hell out of me! He's even worse in person than on TV! Gosh. The one on TV last night was definitely conjugated. Yeah, there's no mistake about that. Yeah. And I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Remember the common points we were talking about? His mom fits the pattern. She's a woman, and she knew Ms. Yamada. Yeah. But it was her son who appeared on TV. So what does that mean? Interesting. Ah... Uh... Quite frankly, I have no idea. Well, this is all just speculation anyway. Oh, maybe it's similar to my case. Yeah, that could be it. If you think about it, my mother fit the victim profile more than I did. She was the one who dealt directly with Miss Yamano, but I was the one who was targeted. Interesting. Does that mean it'll be the kid again instead of the mother? But if that's true, then the killer's motive makes no sense at all. Yeah. It'd have nothing to do with silencing witnesses or revenge or anything. Yeah, that's true. You think we're on the wrong track? Maybe even the first case had nothing to do with grudges or revenge. Yeah, that's quite possible. Or is there some kind of secret in the textile shop itself? Who knows? I'm totally lost. Yeah, this leaves us with more questions than answers. But we can't ignore this. No, we cannot. Hmm. Why don't we just go ahead and ask Kanji himself? You want to go back there and speak to Kanji? We could at least see if anything odd's happened lately. He scares the wits out of me, but... Hey, wasn't Kanji making plans with that weird kid a moment yeah, ago? Yeah, that's true. Something about meeting up at school? I heard he's been skipping school ever since the new year started. Doesn't that seem a little suspicious? It does. Yeah. Something did seem weird. It's suspicious, all right. There's something funny going on here. I can sense it. Are your spidey senses tingling, Chie? Sense? You sound like Teddy. Still, we might find some clues. All right, let's try staking out both Kanji and his family's store. I thought, I thought that said stalking there for a second. I thought, whoa, okay. We definitely don't want the killer getting ahead of us. No, we do not. That being said... Yukiko, can I have your cell oh, number? Oh, gosh. Hey, was this your plan all along? Oh, man. Uh, no. 
I got everybody's phone number except for hers. And the Y section of my address book needs some filling oh out. Oh, gosh. <sighs> While we're on the subject, could you stop calling me at night just to tell dirty jokes? Oh, snap. You really sound like a pervert. Hey, I'm trying to have a conversation with Yukiko here. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy tofu on my way Rejected. home. Rejected! Oh, she didn't hear a word I said. Okay, then. The stakeout is set for tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Stakeouts? Tailing people? I thought that said stakeout. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. Not that kind of stakeouts, viewers. There is no stake involved this time, unlike earlier in the year. Welcome home! Thank you, Nanako. Also, I can't help but notice that... I guess it's just because of this investigation case, but... Dojima is, like, away at night more than he is here. Oh no. This bad influence is already creeping in. Like, I I hope that it's not as, um, uh, oh wait, is, ah, okay, it's, it's, it's required, okay, never mind. I thought for a second, are they giving me the option to go to bed early, or use my Has evening the target arrived at school? It's like, yes ma'am. Visual ID confirmed. Why? Target arrived in zone near the end of his mess break, with mother issued rations in hand. Oh gosh. Current status, in the bathroom, fixing his hair. You're really going 100% with this, Yosuke. The target was acting nervous. I left my position before he had a chance to pick oh, on me. Oh gosh. I wonder what kind of plans they made. It didn't seem like he knew that boy very well. Well, I think there's something more subtle. Oh gosh. He's here! How do you not notice four people hiding behind the gate like that? I didn't keep you waiting, I hope. No, nope, he just got here. No, I, uh, I just got here too. And so the stalking begins, question mark? What in the world was that? I don't know. Anyways, we gotta hurry after them or we'll lose them. Okay, then let's split I like, up into two I like how One team will follow Kanji and the other will stake out the shop. I like how nobody seemed to come to the conclusion yet that this might actually be a date and we're stalking like no, two Roger people that. on a date. How should we split the teams? Um... I guess... I guess I'll go with Yukiko. I don't think it matters. Sure, that's fine with me. Oh man, they're almost out of sight. Come on, Yosuke! So I'm pairing up with Chie? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. We'll need to pretend we're on a date to make it look natural. <laughs> uh, not in a million years. There'll be no need for that if we stay out of sight. Sheesh. Let's hurry up and go! He's gotten into Yosuke lately. I'm stuck in that girl girlfriend syndrome. I wonder if those two will be alright. Good question. I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, um, that leaves us in charge of staking out the textile shop. Yeah, something like So, shall we? Sure. You know, Yosuke is making all of this a lot more awkward than it was before. Sorry about the wait. This one's for you. Oh, thank you. Everything seems fine at the shop. I hope it stays that, that way. That would be for the best. Do you think the culprit will come? Quite possibly. Depends how bold he is. Oh. I kinda doubt it. Our efforts might be fruitless, but maybe that's for the best. I, I mean, the, you know, 
he this culprit seemed to be just come to your door and just knock the knock you out but you know it seems a bit risky to do that in broad daylight i mean what what's he gonna do just carry you out into the street like drag you down there to the next tv or something it would be scary if the culprit did show up but if they do, I'll do what I can to help you catch them. You all saved my life. I don't want to be the only one doing nothing. Don't I mean, worry, Yukiko. I'm sure there's something I can do. Oh, sorry. I went on and on without realizing. I, I guess I'm a little nervous. It's natural. I've never chatted with a boy my age like this before. <laughs> Chie, of course, has no problem getting along with guys because of her personality. But I think she's had more fun hanging out with you and Yosuke lately. Well, that's good. <laughs> the same is true for me. Oh. Oh. Nice. The priestess of Kana, huh? Finally get y Yukiko's social link. I was wondering when that was going to happen. I mean, we got Chie's and Yosuke's almost immediately after the event, but it's been, what, like, three weeks now? You know, I bet you I'm going to get courage block here if I ask straight out, but I'm going to try anyway. Huh? Oh, oh okay. wow, my courage. If you want. Cur courage is high on I can't always answer since I help out around the inn, but feel free to call any time. I guess my courage has gone up a level since GA. Now, where are you guys going? Also, you guys are totally yeah, suspicious. This is weird. Yeah, we definitely stand like out. Like a sore thumb. No, I mean them. I get this weird feeling about them. Like what? Weird? What about them's weird? Um, I don't know how to put it. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> hey, how do you think the others are doing? Uh, it's going a lot smoother than this. Beats me. For all we know, he's hitting on Yukiko as we speak. Excuse me? Yeah, no. He's not like you. Yukiko doesn't seem to be interested in that stuff anyway. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, are you saying he's interested in her? Huh? I, I, I wouldn't know. We don't really talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> now I'm even more suspicious. You know something, don't you? <laughs> I seriously don't know. It's not like we've been hanging out that long. It's been uh, two months. What the hell are you two doing? We're just having a conversation. Oh, well, you see, we're we're just two crazy lovebirds. <laughs> what do you mean, bird? Play along, bird brain. Didn't I see you guys yesterday? Yeah, so what about it? <laughs> Come on. It just so happened that we were walking behind you guys. Pure coincidence. Hey, our houses are just over that way, so we'll be going now. Um, look, we weren't planning on getting in you guys' way, and there's nothing strange about it either. Yeah, you guys suck at this. S strange? Why can't you keep your big mouth shut? Whoa, 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 wait. Damn it! Say what you think! Y you got it all wrong! <laughs> hey, are you listening, damn it? It seriously ain't like that! You're chasing them around. I, I, I think I get what's happened. We regret to inform that our mission failed. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There was nowhere to hide. Well, let's wait here a little longer. Maybe kanji -kun will come home. Yeah. Oh gosh. Huh? What are you guys doing here? You're those stupid lovebirds <laughs> I just saw. We're not a couple! 
Why are you assholes following me around? Damn it, what the hell's going on? I ain't saying this is you guys' fault, mm -hmm. but damn it! What? Hey, uh, mind if we ask something? Has anything strange happened to you lately? Yeah. Huh? Strange? Yeah, strange. What's this strange stuff, huh? Are you saying that I'm strange? No. Huh? No, 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 I, I didn't mean... You shitheads better get the hell out of my face or I'm taking you down! What? Wait, why? I look like I'm joking! Gosh. That went poorly. <laughs> Running. And you're trying to help someone and they well, don't know. Nothing notice. happened today, so I guess everything's okay. But it's already been a few days since he appeared on the Midnight Channel. If this is anything like Yukiko's case, it'll happen soon. Yeah. Then we can't let our guard down. I think we should come back tomorrow to check up on him. Probably. Looks like we got no choice. Let's go home. I'm wiped. Yeah, you must be pretty tired after those stealth mission and running around and then oh, well, running around home, again. Big bro. Oh, I just noticed that it says, "Oh, welcome home, Big Pro." It's adorable. I hope you're doing well, Donica. Chad. No sign of Dojima, huh? I guess we'll go check out the Midnight Channel. Although, we might save that for next time. So, we, we seem to be getting very close to the time when the we'll have to venture into another dungeon. So, I'd like to end it here, here guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did don't forget to thumbs up a like and uh, comment and if you haven't already subscribe and i'll be back probably tomorrow with another episode of persona 4 golden